This is a bit different from my usual electronics and PCB projects, but winter is coming and my snowblower has been rusting for years. It runs, but always breaks in the middle of a storm, so this year I'm fixing it properly before the snow hits. This isn't about the whole machine, it's about uh, one problem I found while working on it. Here's how it looked before I started. I stripped all the paint off the frame, treated it with an epoxy rust treatment and primer, then painted it with layers, primer, main color, and clear coat. It turned out really nice. I pulled the bushings out, and I don't think they were ever changed. So, uh, so uh, I'm pretty sure they are the originals. Believe it or not, I'm really plastic, um, carrying all the load. I bought new brass bushings, uh, which are much stronger. I could have just swapped in the brass bushings and been done, but I'm bushings are um, sacrificial parts softer material that wears before the shaft and they can still mark the shaft if you leave them too long i wanted something that would last a lot longer proper steel bearing housings were expensive and the cheap ones were worse than keeping bushings so i made my own setup uh, I designed and 3D printed both bearing holders, spaced the bolts so they clamp harder to the frame, and sandwiched a 2mm aluminum plate between them for strength and alignment. The aluminum plate is what really carries the load here. The 3D printed holders mostly act as spacers that position the bearings. I use the same system for the auger blades. So now both the main shaft and the blade shaft run on proper bearings instead of worn bushings. The notch for where the, the handle connects to the frame was built into the 3D design from the start. I also changed the 3D printer, printer settings to make them a bit stronger, not 100% infill, but denser than normal, and printed them in ASA for better toughness and outdoor resistance. To make the aluminum plate, I first cut the outside shape with the rotor. Once that was done, I had four solid discs. I duct taped all four discs together with the 3D printed jig on top, drilled a hole in the middle just big enough for the rotor bit to get inside, and then followed the jig until uh, the inside hole was perfectly aligned. You can't really clamp it down because the part is too small and the router would just hit the clamp. A CNC would have done the job much better, but I was in a hurry. Do not do this. It was really dangerous. I had the whole stack flying out of my hand several times before I finally got it done. I covered the inside of the first bearing holder with a thick layer of marine grease, set the aluminum plate in place, added another thick layer of marine grease on top, dropped in the second bearing holder, and bolted the whole stack to the frame. The grease is trapped between the bearing faces and the plate, keeping things smooth and protected. I drilled new mounting holes in the frame to match the spacing. With everything tightened, the shaft spins clean on bearings and the auger got the same upgrade. I still need to seal the edges with some silicone to keep the water and dirt from entering the bearing. Maybe not stopping it completely, but at least it will be less. And voila, now we have a snowblower wheel shaft running from plastic bushings to heavy duty bearings. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or questions, drop a comment below.